All right, where are we going here, buddy? We got wind off the right. We got a dog leg right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to aim kind of like just left of the bunker, the okay. right bunker. Maybe a left center tee box would be good here. I think left center tee box would kind of open the hole up a little bit, right? Yeah. Teeing off on that right side kind of forces you to have to aim a little bit more left. Yeah. And then it, that wind can make it go too far left. End up perfect. Man, he's hit it hard. So far, it's 410 yards. So I mean, you know, he's it's 260, 260, 263, 260. That's uphill, by the way. 263. 137. How far? 137. 137 hole. Yeah. Yeah, but here's the thing. We it's have wind yeah we have uphill so the first thing we do our players check two things wind and uphill or downhill right so what do we have we have in, we have into the wind yeah a little so, bit into the wind and a little uphill so what's the number again was it 130 what 137 yeah 137 into the wind what do you think how much how much wind do you think that is i think it's like three or four yards yeah let's go with the full five only because that pin's in the front right we have a lot yeah. of room behind that pin so let's go into the wind 142 but then that green is a little uphill so maybe 145 shot yeah Okay. It's a, kind of a soft eight iron, soft eight iron. I wouldn't underestimate that wind, though. It's up there. Nothing wrong with being past that flag stick, buddy. You have nothing but green back there, right? Yeah. And with your shot shape and what we've seen today, even though you're trying to feel like you're hitting a little bit of that cut, I would definitely be. Yep, I would definitely be right on the right side of that green. hit that my best. Okay. Okay. Let's go get up and down. Let's go get up and down. You're not hitting it that good. That's actually a really good miss. I yeah, it's a great miss. Yeah. All right, here we go. Come on, buddy. It's not a... This is kind of what killed me at men. Yeah, no, come on. Hey, hey, let's just make sure we got this. I know, and that's the one thing that's tough. He just lengthened these wedges, lengthened all of his golf clubs. The feel's a little bit different. Jay, hands and body working at the same pace. All we're looking for Give me the nice little soft open face one just landing just on the green right there, right? Yeah. So the, the, for, the, for the viewer, notice how we have more than 50% of this is, you know, the, the, not the green, right? We have to carry this. It's up the hill. So into the grain, sticky grass, can't really do the bump and run. We talked about how this is a shot. We have to land it more than 50% of the way there. So we're opening the face, the ball slightly in the front of our stance. Jay's really trying to take away the hand action. Because guys, the minute you add this, you're adding a component of speed that's unnecessary. Hands working at the same pace as the body, Jay. There it is. Look how, oh, <laughs> see the spin on that? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's, let's clean that up. Let's make this putt. But that's big, guys. That extra hand action right there, when we get the, the little bit of that hinge, a lot of times it releases or the player will even hang on to that hinge and then they jam it, right? So you either get the real quick fastball or the person gives it up and then they slide under it. So you can get a number of things that happens there when you incorporate too much hinge. Especially on that tight lie. Nice, good putt, buddy. Setup looks great. Stroke looks good. Nice job, buddy. Setup and stroke look great. What do we have here? Par five at the Heights, Heights uh, Golf so Club number two. Feels kind of like downwind a little bit. Or wait, never mind. Wind changed. Well, here's the thing. That wind was kind of in. Yeah. And in, 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 on on the previous hole, so I think that there's no doubt. Even though it's swirling a little bit, it's, yeah, it's definitely like, helping us. Yeah. Okay. So we're downwind. We have it's the bunker downwind. on the right. So really, see the see the see the palm trees in the distance, kind of going towards the mountain in the distance there. Yeah. That's really the center of the fairway right there, okay? Yeah. Let's go right there.
Mm, that is beautiful. Wow, dude. I mean, that is just pounded right there. Woo! This guy. <laughs> 190, a little. Oops. How about that? The hole was 467. Little down. 277. Downwind. I think. I know. <laughs> 277. So, what? Wait, this so is. It's downwind, this is, you got, you got, downhill. Yeah, you got to be thoughtful here, buddy. I mean, this is a lot going on I here, right? I think it's about an eight yard wind. And okay. then the downhill, I think, is about seven, six yards. So, I'm going to play it around 175. So, you're telling me actual yardage is 190 to the hole? Yeah. Downhill, maybe we take off five yards? Yeah, five yards. Okay, so. 190s, 185? Yep. That wind is about 10 ish, you're thinking? Yeah. Okay, 175? Yeah. All right, I like that number. 175 is my five up Now, it's a downhill lie, right? Typically, on a downhill lie, the ball wants to just squeak a little bit right, okay? Not the easiest lie to hit the big draw off of, so yeah. nor should we be trying to. Yeah. So, I like right at the pin. Yeah. I think just right of the pin. Okay. Like right at it or just a yeah, little right I at like it. Yeah, I like it. It's unbelievable how far he's hitting it. Not a boy. Good oh, shot right there. But hey, just so, just, hey, listen, this is a very difficult green to hit. Yeah. From where we are right here with anything more than a wedge, a tough green to hit. That's a wonderful leave, just short right, or actually kind of close to pin high right of the green. Yeah. Um, and you know what? Honestly, that's why I told you to actually hit it right at the pin and not right of it. Yeah. Because you know why? Nothing about this wind and that downhill slope tells me that that ball is going to draw. Yeah. When you're on a down slope, mm -hmm. you don't typically hang back yeah. and flip it. Typically, if anything, that's when you cover it the most. Yeah. So the club face gets more dragged and stabilized as a result of that. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I think this one's more of a runner. All right, buddy. Hey, basic right here. Yeah. Basic, basic, basic. But here's the thing. Basic with good technique with the shot that's going to guaranteed run out. Not one of those shots that gets scooped and then lands short and lands real soft, right? Yeah. Notice a little upslope right here? I think you got to put it right on the top of that right there, right? Yeah, that's where I you see, You see that spot? Yeah. So we're picking spots, guys. We're making sure we get a spot. This is a shot that we want to get on the ground within one third of the distance, let it run out the rest of it. So talk, 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 talk us through what you're doing here. Um, so I'm going to obviously hit it more of a lower shot, landing it kind of where we said, um, and then let it release around the, to the hole. Okay, so we got about, what about? 35 feet of green. Yeah. Why well, are we going to land it about, about eight like, feet on or so? Yeah. Okay. Only reason we're doing that, guys, normally we like to land the ball quickly on the green. Yeah. But there's a little upslope here that we want to just avoid a little bit just so it doesn't kill the speed. Perfect. Hmm. Close, huh? We missed. You know what? It didn't land and run as much as we thought it would. Yeah. And that's where, with a little bit of practice, knowing the green speed, knowing the firmness, same shot with another club yeah. could work, yeah. right? But overall, that was a pretty good shot. Good technique. Obviously, we'd like to see that one closer, but that's what I'm talking about. There's a little upslope right there, and it hit the top of it. Yeah. Just killed it a little bit. Good yeah. technique, though. Yeah. It did. You, land, you, hit, you know what? You hit your spot, and it was a spot that both you and I saw. Yeah. So there's nothing, that, uh, nothing we can do about it. I like that you left it underneath the hole, though. Yeah. What do you see, buddy? This actually looks really straight. Yep. Um, I don't really see a lot of movement on this one. I think, if anything, it, it looks like back there it could break a little right. Here's the thing. If you're struggling to find any, any movement on it, and you find yourself asking yourself the question, gosh, which way is this going to move? Just play it straight. Keep it smooth. Good putt, buddy. Awesome. Let's hit that, uh, hit that chip one more time. So let me show you guys a little trick here, first of all. 
Here, let me see his golf balls. So watch how his ball will react and watch how my ball reacts. Watch how my ball lands, Chris. It's a lot of, a lot more what? It runs out. A lot. Yeah, I do it with my setup. Jaden, get closer, get more on top of it, get that ball back, and hit that ball in a way that's gonna trap it down, let it run. Thank you, buddy. That's how you hit that shot. That's how you hit that shot, okay? So guys, it wasn't so much that the club needed to change, the quality of the contact and the way that he hits the shot, I thought could have improved, right? You're up the hill, the first one wasn't bad, it was a good, 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 good standard chip. It's just unfortunately it's gonna get killed in this slope right here, right? So he has the ball back, there we go, he's closer to the ball, okay? He's gotta land a little farther, but that was the right technique again. You saw how different Mike ball came off though? Comes off real low and tight. Now, now that right there, without the speed and jamming it, right? Yeah. Uh, chipping, making sure that if it's a bump and run, I'm more on, like closer to the ball, playing it more back in my stance, and just kind of like hitting a little more on top of it, and then a little, being a little more steep. Um, and on more of like when I need to take it up higher, just having it more in the front of my stance, making sure that the club is a little more open and making sure I'm not using wrist, I'm more dead armed. And yeah, that's what I took away from this lesson today.